So the tip for today is I wanted to show you how to um, lock the bass voice in so that it doesn't change regardless of which style that you subsequently pick. So obviously the idea here is that if you have a band and you're playing, the bass player doesn't necessarily change basses every time that he changes songs. He typically plays the same bass throughout the entire uh, set. So a really nice feature that the uh, SD90 has is the ability to lock a certain bass voice from a particular style so that then subsequent styles that are selected will continue to have the uh, same bass that you've uh, previously locked. So let me demonstrate. So if you go into, um, let's say, 16 Ballad 1, I'm going to look at the first three. And I view and I look at the bass player, you'll see that he is uh, playing a warm bass. So that's over here on the left-hand side, right? Right here. You'll see it says warm bass. If I go to 16 Ballad 2, you'll see that he's playing a folk bass. And if I go to 16 Ballad 3, you'll see that he's playing a soft finger bass. Now let's say that the warm bass happens to be the bass that I like. So in the view menu, I'll go into the bass player and I'll say voice lock. So what I've done now is I have forced the SD90 to remember that the bass player I want on ups, all subsequent tracks, regardless of the style I pick, is warm bass. So now if I go back and I look at 16 ballad 2, I do view, you'll see that it has warm bass. If I go back to 16 ballad 3, you'll see that it has warm bass. And for that matter, anything I pick is going to have warm bass. And will continue to persist until I change it or until I turn voice lock off. So that becomes a very nice feature to ensure that the bass player or a bass sound that you like continues to play regardless of what style you subsequently select.